Here at WCYE, we live, learn, and love Jesus. building to experience the word. RSK, let it play, boy. WCYE is the place to be. Here's where we love God, we have fun, and we're just free. RSK, let it play, boy. Carson Carson Show. That's what's up, people. Listen, and I got his mama say, hey, mama. Hi. Hey, listen, we're about to go ahead and go ahead and bring your mama, bring your kid, bring your uncle, sister, friend, cousin, and you can even bring the dog, but just make sure you in the building. Like, subscribe, and share. Let's go. to me what that life like see some dark days i still shine bright it's like the more you elevate the more the fake can gravitate i pray for him to use me then he sent me out of state i met a couple hitters god he put him in the picture cause he knew from the beginning we gonna be together winning hey give it away give it away i had to give up some things i had to pray move it away i had to call the name move to the a miles away and where they all living this thing all of my days father he gave i cannot give it today you never worry about opinions when you know divine i'm so rooted so the flow gon' always be divine him might lying yo let's talk Like, ooh, look, I'm 
first generation used to not having it Ain't average, that's why I rock my night I fit Just to show the world my God always surpassing it They try and clown you but you have the last laugh legit I see so many holding pain, yeah they masking Don't hold on too long, you might go do something drastic yeah. They ask you one day, where you get your satisfaction Told them that it's coming from above, then they hit me with a shrug I ain't tripping, cause I know they peeping the way we living Ain't nobody comparing the G.O.D. with his children I hit my little dance, knowing I'm too forgiving In the season I was hitting, now we're purring like a kitten, yeah you never worry about opinions when you know divine I'm so rooted so the flow gon' always be divine yeah. Am I lying? Yo, let's talk like we besties Focus on the sun so I don't care if forget I'm me. like, ooh, pull up and see how I live with my crew Keep it on 10 and you know we don't lose Holy intent, homie, and we make moves Like, ooh, I'm like, ooh, pull up and see how I live with my crew Keep it on 10 and you know we don't lose We know the vibes every time we come through Like, ooh
I bet you thought that worship was a fast song, a slow song, a lot of songs. But what you just experienced, my experience, was worship. Did you hear? There were words, there was conversation, there was laughter, there was joy, there was a moment of thinking, exchange of ideas, there was thankfulness, there was an acknowledgement of parents and friends and family, there was a thankfulness there throughout the whole conversation. That is worship. That which you just experienced and heard, that is my experience. Welcome. We're so excited that you guys are here with us today. WCYE Junior High is in the building, and we are super excited. Listen, there's no place like WCYE Junior High. We have an amazing service for you today. A little different. Of course, you see I got my parents and the kids by my side, so it's going to be amazing. But on behalf of our senior pastors, Pastor Creflo and Taffy Dollar, our senior youth pastors, Anthony and Constance Adams, and of course myself, Pastor Elizabeth Worrell, the pastor with the blue hair, because I really do care. We're really glad that you're here today. Listen, do me a favor, and in that chat right now, let me know where you're watching from. Are you in Europe? Are you in Asia? Are you in Africa? Are you right up the street on Garby Road? But listen, either way, it's no place like home. So, I want to go ahead and get started. We're going to jump in to this new part of the series, What's Love Got to Do With It? Okay! I'm so excited. I don't even know what to do with myself. Let's take a moment and let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this opportunity to get together as family. Lord, we thank you that you have given us the role of parents and even as kids. Lord, we give you praise for the fact that you can give the smallest things, use the smallest tools to help our lives to increase in the biggest way. So even as we sit around your word and as we do these practical things today, we ask that your Holy Spirit lead, guide, direct, make whole, and make new. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All amen. right, so listen. Super excited to have you guys here today. WCYE Junior High. Well, you're not in junior high anymore, Carson. Mm -mm. So introduce yourself to the people. Tell them what's up. Look at the camera and say hello. Yo, yo, what's up? My name is Carson. I graduated from junior high, and, and now currently I'm in senior high. Yes, and if you didn't know, but now you know, this is Carson from? The Carson and Carson Show. That's what's up. That's what I'm saying <laughs> about right there. And of course, this is your mom. And introduce no, yourself no. to the people. Tell them hello. Hi, I'm Wujina. I'm Carson's mom. <laughs> Notice how we always do that. People ask yeah. you, like, you introduce yourself, and they'll go, tell me something about you. Like, well, I have a son. They go, tell me, right? Yeah. Tell me about yourself. And you go, I have a son. And they go, okay, well, what about you? And he's in high school. And we just go right through our kids. Isn't yes. that something? Yes. It's amazing. And them, now watch. Tell me about yourself, Carson. Um, tell me something about myself. Yeah, about you. Uh, I like gaming. Uh huh. Um. Oh, my favorite subject is biology. Okay. And um. Yeah, that's basically it. That's cool. But notice your mama said when we asked her about her, she <laughs> talked about you. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna give her one more time. So tell us something about yourself. Um, my name is Pugina. I'm a human resource director for a cap agency. So I work for a community action agency. And we try to er we help eradicate poverty in Clayton County. We'll give her that one. <laughs> but it would be nice to know now. I'm going to set it back. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is orange. Okay. You see how that works? That's so different. What's your favorite food? Chicken. Mm -hmm. I love chicken. Some chicken, chicken. <laughs> and what's your favorite movie? Um, the Fifth Element with Bruce Willis. Oh. <laughs> Now we know something about your mom, right? Well, that brings us to today. We're doing a workshop, kind of a mini mom and son workshop here today. Okay. And then we're going to bring you back next week, and we're also going to do our love language. So okay. this whole series is, Great. what's love got to do with it anyway? All right. So this is the color workshop. And colors, y'all ever heard of the color workshop? You ever heard of colors? Mm. No? Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> give you my quote for the day. I love a little quote. Okay. I have no idea who said it because it's an anonymous quote. But listen. <laughs> it says, it's beauty that captures your attention. Personality which captures your heart. Oh. Okay. Carson is like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. But I think it's really important, especially when we're talking about communication with students and with parents, our personality has a lot to play with it. 
It does. It does, it right? Does. And well, sometimes we forsake the fact that God himself gave us our personalities. I always say I'm a reflection, a portion of, you know, definitely God's uh, personality. I'm the one that's like, you know, if God came to earth and was like, what's up? That would be, you know. <laughs> so since he already went back to heaven, yes. he put me here to be his, what's up? <laughs> See how that works? Yeah. I think that's personality. Yeah. I think that's what personality is. I think it's a, a all of, each of us reflect a little piece of his personality, and it just shows him as a really big God. That's always been my definition. What you think? Yes, that's that's fair enough. Fair enough. Good that's deal. Fine. So Genesis one twenty seven. Got to give you the scripture. Mm. And we just went over this. We ended up last week. You guys should see that on there. But it talks about how God spoke. It says, "Let us make human beings in the reflection of our nature." So he literally made us just like him, right? So what's on the inside of him is on the inside of us. So his personality is also on the inside of us, right? right. So the other one I love is um, Genesis 126. Look it up, people. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that also has to do with the fact that God made us in the image and likeness of himself. And so even for parents, I think it's really important for us to begin to look at as we're uh, raising our kids, or I'll say in um, partnership with God, raising our kids, that we start factoring that in. Because sometimes we'll take personality as, oh, you rude. Oh, don't talk to me like that. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. Don't you? Don't yes. you do that? <laughs> and really, it's a God-given part of who they really are. And I think when we step back as, you know, as parents yes. and we say, okay, wait a minute, I see what this is, yes. we'll start coming, co stop coming at them a certain way. Yes. It will start developing based on their personality. So I wanted to make sure that we jumped in with this and really saw how your personality is what helps others see Christ. Okay. Your personality is what other helps others see Christ. So if we're coming crazy at our kids and we down in their person, don't act like that. Why you do that for? How come you're so different? <laughs> and they're like, I'm trying to just be myself. Well, that's the part that God put on the inside of them for them to be like themselves. Would you agree? Yes. You, do you ever find your mom going, boy, if you don't act right? <laughs> <laughs> These expressions are doing a lot for me. <laughs> doing a lot. Do you think your mom, what kind of personality do you think your mom has? What would you say? She's what? One word. Very energetic. Energetic. I love it. I love it. Well, let's look at this scripture because I think, again, as we begin to really look at personality to kind of help you out, to help your parents out, because sometimes we trip a lot. <laughs> I know we do. Okay. But it was really nice to be able to go to the word and see why personality was so important to God. Where does it play a part? in our lives, right? What is it? What's the big deal? So I just brought out Colossians 3, 10 through 14, and it's the message version. I like message because it just kind of hits you in your chest a little different. Okay! But it's a little long, but I want us to listen. And then I want you to tell me what you, just two things that you heard out of it um, that means something to you or what you got out of it. Colossians 3, 10 through 14, and I'm reading the message version. Take a minute and get there. It says, don't lie to one another. You're done with that old life. It's like a filthy set of old, ill-fitting clothes you've stripped off and put in the fire. Now you're dressed in a new wardrobe. Every item of your new way of life is custom made by the Creator with His label on it. All the old fashions are now obsolete. Words like Jewish and non-Jewish, religious, irreligious, insider, outsider, uncivilized, uncouth, slave, free, mean nothing. From now on, everyone is defined by Christ. Everyone is included in Christ. So, chosen by God for this new love of life, dress in, here we go, the wardrobe God picked out for you. <coughs> Compassion, kindness, humility, quiet strength, discipline. Be even-tempered, content with second place. Uh, he's back <laughs> up. Quick to forgive offense. Yes. Forgive as quickly and mm. completely as the master forgave you. Regardless of whatever you put on, we are love. It's your basic all-purpose garment. Never be without it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I saw you laughing a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah. Kai said, what, is, what, what was your thoughts when you were laughing just then? <clears throat> yeah, um, that scripture, um, it hits me different because I am um, 
not really even temperate. Ah. I just get, like, when somebody, like, mess with me at school, you know, I just be like, bro. Well, I just be, you know, going at them. You be going in, don't you? I do. Your mama think you be at school, like, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> she not. And you be at school going ham on these folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings me to my point. Let's do this. Let's go okay. to have some fun. And let's go ahead and take what's in front of you, your personality test. Okay. And we're going to see what comes up. So I'm going to give you a few moments, okay. right, to kind of put your name at the top. So we'll have it afterwards. And I'll know which one of you is which one. And I want you to take your time. And you, at home, you should see on your screen the same thing that they're doing. So when I'm going over what their personality is, I'll be going over yours too. If not this week, next week, but you'll see yours be going over. So I want you to take a minute and you'll see from, if you have to load in from one to four, the best one that suits you. So I'm going to let you take a minute and do that. And the slide is up on the screen. I want you guys to read the directions and take your quiz too. Let's go. Oh, wow. This is amazing. The results that we just got out of here. So your uh, top colors were what? Uh, gold and blue. And yours were what? My top color was blue, and then my second one was gold. Wow, isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is like mind-blowing right here. So here's what we want to do. We want to okay. kind of go there. I won't go through all of them, because you should see some of these on the screen, too. And you guys, of course, have this on the back. Mm -hmm. You flip your paper over. And I want you to read what, can you read that at the bottom, what blue is, mm -hmm. and what, I'll let you read what gold is. So read what the personality says about blue. I am warm, commutative, um, compassionate, feeling. And what does it say down here? I need to search for the meaning and significance of life. I want to find ways to make my life count to become the most authentic self. Great. You read the gold. Um, it says, I am responsible, sensible, helpful, and dependable. And it says, I need to be responsible. I want to be fulfilled. I mean, I want to fulfill my duties and obligations and structure my life. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you wow. see how, uh, Mom, mm -hmm. I'm saying now, mm -hmm. if we look at things through the eyes of the fact that the Lord put a personality in our kids, and same thing, right. that the Lord put a personality in your mom, we begin to move differently with each other, right? Yes. So now we kind of see the blue, the personality of the blue is like, hey, I just want the world to be kind and loving, and <laughs> right? Yes. But the gold people, they're kind of, and I want to read this, what okay. others think about a gold? Oh. Because so, sometimes it's really good family to know what others think about us, mm -hmm. how others see us. Yes. And so with the personality of the goal, people see you as rigid. Uh, look at your face. Mm. Controlling. Oh, wow. Dull or boring. <laughs> stubborn, pig-headed. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Opinionated. Mm. System-bound. Like, you need a whole... It needs to be like, bow, 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 bow. Make it right. Bow. Hey, bow. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Unimaginative and uncreative. Now, that's how others see you. Oh. For the gold part of you. Wow. Now, out of your own self-esteem, here's some things that you may do, gold people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Complaining and self-pity, oh. anxiety and worry, depression and fatigue. Wow. Now, everybody at home, this don't mean you have to have this going on, but it might. And I'm just going to read a few. You are, you might have, uh authoritarianism and phobic reactions mean you're like, oh my God, don't do that. Mm. What? But, and here's the key for both of you guys that okay. you should walk away with. Mm. How do you praise a gold person, right? Mm. How do you get in line with the personality, right? Of a gold. Of a gold. Okay. How do you get in line with each other so that you really are moving on the same page? You praise their accomplishments. Okay. Accomplishments and sense of responsibility. Okay. Okay. Their thoroughness, like, oh man, I see how you did that, Carson. That was amazing. How you picked up all of your dirty underwear off the floor all together. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> your mom was spotless. Your mom is spotless. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it spotless? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Praise their contributions to the growth and development of the organization and its performance. Okay. And praise their good ideas and capabilities. Okay. All right? So when you hear that, Carson, what's something different that you could do that you know would 
really help you in your relationship with mom. Now that you realize, you know, if I do this, if I praise her accomplishments, if I praise, how could you, what could you do different? Or how could you come at her differently? I could, um... And let the people know on the camera right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would, I, I can, like, give her, um, like, accolades. Oh, you know, for, okay. For, you know, just doing stuff that, you know, she does for me all the time. Like, I can say thank you. Oh. You know, like, when I say thank you, I truly mean it, but... It's like people just say thank you, just be saying thank you, right? Mm -hmm. So I truly think like, if I give her accolades, I'll it'll make our relationship better. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> okay, Bobby, you're up. What could you, no? Uh, let me do this. Let me do this. I'm gonna change it around for your mom. What do you do that be going ham, tripping? You know you be tripping. <laughs> and now that you know about uh -huh. it, having a gold child, mm -hmm. what would you do different? Um. Be more patient um, with um, with him actually doing. Like when you give him something, when you tell him to do something, uh -huh. he kind of um, waits around and, do and don't get it done. So if I'll just be patient and not keep saying, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you get it done? Did you get it done? Did you get it done? And, you know, because I expect you when I tell you to do something to go ahead and get it done. Uh -huh. But, you know, they, the kids nowadays, they just wait around and, you know, they That's go play a game and, <laughs> you know, and, and then it'd be three hours later and it's still not done. Okay. So maybe if I just say the one time, maybe he'll go ahead and get it done. And or, so, or maybe even say, you know what, I noticed on last time when I asked you to do mm -hmm, something yeah. that you did it right away. I really appreciate that. Yes. That's going to begin to cultivate. Mm -hmm. Did you think that would help you? Yes, ma'am. Stay off the game, brother! <laughs> <laughs> I just got it back. <laughs> I said you was on punishment. So listen, I really wanted us to be able to just take a few moments. And you guys are going to take this with you. We're going right. to see you next week for your, your love language quiz, which oh, is going to be amazing. Excellent. But this, parents, is really about you being able to incorporate... Number one, how others see your kids, okay. how others see your parents, or how they, how you see each other. Okay. But now that you know something about it, now that you know something about each other, it's a way for us to be able to really communicate differently. You both are blue, which means you both want the same thing. You both want to just have peace. Yes. So stop hollering, Mom. <laughs> she be hollering, don't she? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, damn it. But know that you want the same mm -hmm. thing. You're yes. built the same way. You're built to be compassionate. We are the world kind of people. And mm -hmm. you want things to be a certain way too. Yes. His is developing. Yours is pretty much in play. Yes. Okay? <laughs> so listen, we're super excited to have our parents and Carson here from the... Uh, Carson and Carson show. That's right. Listen, we're super excited to have you too. And we want to make sure that you take time. You have those questions on there. You take one. Let your parents take one. Let the whole house take one. And you guys will begin to know how you can really communicate with each other because that is what love has to do with it. Now listen, you may have never, ever thought about your personality uh, in this way from God's perspective, that it really builds relationship. And you know, he wants to build a relationship with you too. I want to invite you, if you've never said, Jesus, come into my heart. I love a relationship with you. I want to invite you right now to say this prayer with us. Father, repeat after me. Father, thank you so much for coming into my heart, for letting me see who you are. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, listen, if this is the first time that you ever said that prayer, welcome to the family. <laughs> We're super excited to have you. Right there on the screen, it says, I am S-A-V-E-D. And we want to make sure that you text 51555 to the words, S I am S-A-V-E-D to 51555. My tongue is a little tired. And we love you more than you can imagine. Take this test. Do these things. And let love have everything to do with it. We love you, and we'll see you next time. Hey, that was absolutely amazing. We hope that you got something from that. We hope that it was enlightening for you as you saw about your kid, right? Yes. And you saw about your mom. Right. We got a gold, we got a blue, we got a blue, we got a gold here. <laughs> what was your personality? I would love to know. Email me here at awrl at worldchangers.org and ask your kid, what can I do differently? You know, let them tell you the real deal. Listen, we're super excited that you decided to come today. And we hope to see you again on behalf of our pastors, Pastor Creflo and Tappy Dollar, on behalf of our senior youth pastors, and 
Anthony and Constance Adams, and of course myself, Pastor Alyssa Worrell, the pastor with the blue hair because I really do care. We love you so much, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? 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 We'll love you so much, and we'll see you next time. Let's go. What do you think communion means to you? Oh, what communion means to me is that his body that was broken for us so we can get another chance and that his blood was shed for us. So what I think communion is, is that the bread represents the things he has done for us over the years and the juice represents the blood and the sins that he has taken away from us over the years. I never thought of it like that, but yeah. Um, do you mind praying with us? Because if you do, then it'd be awesome. So. Lord, I thank you for this day that you have made, and I pray for this young man or woman beyond this camera. And Lord, I want us to all have an amazing day today or tomorrow. And yeah, Lord, just help us up with the spirit of you, Lord. In your name, pray. Amen. Amen. So now you may eat and drink. Thank you guys for coming. Hi guys, I'm Carson, and today we're going to be talking about offering and what offering means to me. What it means to me is us not giving because we have to, but giving because we want to, and we're going to show our appreciation to what the Lord has done for us. And if you're ready to give, go to one of these options below, and if you're not, it's fine, and I'll see you guys next time.